hey, I just wanted to talk to you about when you're asked to do work for free, as you will be in your own business. Um, so here's what I have to say. This is advice for people that don't want to work for free. So here's what I've been hearing for the past 35 years in my successful award-winning photography business. Hey, why don't you do this for free and I'll give you some work down the road. This almost never pans out. And in fact, it doesn't. Zero percent, it doesn't pan out. Um, But I continue to hear it. Would you ask a surgeon to do some free work for you? and you might pay them later or send them some new patients? No, you wouldn't. So just say no. Another reason is it will be good for your portfolio. I have an extensive portfolio. I don't need to add to it with your project for free. And here's the thing. It takes valuable time away from your paying customers that you do have. So of course you put those people first because they're investing in you. So there is really no reason to do free work unless you're doing charitable work, which I've done in several different countries and been happy to do it. But these were nonprofit organizations. They're not making a profit. I'm in the United States and I'm making a profit or at least trying to um, after the pandemic. So many people are struggling because um, during the pandemic, the business that you have might have gone to zero income and you're building it back up again. So doing free work takes your time away from investing and making connections with clients who will pay you for your exceptional work. Um, So I'm just putting this out there because it is rather insulting when people ask you to do work for free. Now, this does not include suggesting trades of your professional experience and expertise traded with another person's experience and expertise, as long as that's what both of you want to do. I uh, have done that a few times in the past, and it has worked, but it has to work on both sides. You're offering an amazing product, they're offering an amazing product, and you both agree that this is something you can do a share on. Um, But this isn't what... (laughs) I'm talking about here. This is when people ask you to do stuff for free and uh, feel very justified in it. It does take a lot of work to have your own business. You uh, have to maintain your car to go to meetings, to do work. You have to pay taxes. You have to uh, have accountants and people that you call to get advice on lawyers, all of that. So no, I don't have time to do free work unless it's a charitable organization. And those charitable organizations tend to not be in the United States where I have to earn a living to be here. So I can do that in India and here's where I've done it, Argentina, Nepal and Thailand and was happy to do it. Costs are lower in those countries. And when you do a volunteer project and you don't have to make money, it's very satisfying. But you're also not spending money (laughs) to actually do the job, which is what people want you to basically do when they ask you for free work. You're taking the time away from things that could be paying you well. So with that said, I just want to encourage you about how to deal with people that ask you to do stuff for free. You don't have to even answer them. Or um, you can just say, no, I'm not able to do that. So there you go. And I'll see you in the next video.